Hey everyone, my name is Elise. Welcome back to another video. Today we got another episode of Dono Review. So today we are playing uh, the Inferno deck. Actually, uh, further than that, Inferno Dogmatica. So it was donated to me by one of the viewers. Um, it's just something he was playing around with. I don't know if like the Dogmatica cards were okay for the deck, but like, you know, Infernoids are Infernoids right now, but I don't know. He said he wanted to try the mix of them. So he had a list that he sent me and we kind of just threw this together. Um, so yeah, um, I guess we can just quick show the list right now and I can get into this deck more and how the tournament went. Well, I guess I'll just go into the tournament first, but, uh, so the locals I played in today, uh, is for around locals. I went 2-2, unfortunately. Uh, one of my losses was due to time. Uh, if I had, like, 30 more seconds, I was literally about to kill him. And, uh, yeah, I would have just had the match from there, but unfortunately, I, uh, I couldn't get there. Um, it was because... My lovely girlfriend who gave me all these cards to use except for the tiaras which shout out to ethan the best one of the best sponsors ever uh got these for me because i was struggling to get these for like two weeks so i had to keep pushing back playing this deck on stream and stuff so it was really annoying but it is what it is um yeah my girlfriend gave me the rest and i, I hate foreign cards so much but it was okay i mean the deck performed all right, but, like, the problem is it's just this deck is just a little bit too bricky for its own good, and you have to open your power spells, which, like, Prosperity helps with, but it, it just can end up not being enough and just still losing, so it's just what it is. But anyways, let's get into the deck list I was originally sent. So, right off the bat, my problem with it is it's over 40 cards. So, also to preface this, this list was sent to me before... Uh, the new ban list kicked in. So this is an old format deck. So when I first made the deck, I translated it to uh, like old format standards, which meant like uh, I wasn't wanting wanting to play mine. Uh, Droplet was just iffy in the main deck. Um, and then let's see, because that's five cards taken out. So that, I mean, yeah, that was like the basic things I did. I don't think I actually did that much more. I think I'd like fine tune the side deck and then the Extra deck, I think I kept relatively the same, but like, I don't know. I, I also didn't know much about Inferno numbers. I asked the girlfriend, and she was like, this looks relatively fine. She's kind of disappointed in lack of like reasoning in Monster Gate, but there's no way to properly fit in all those cards and uh, like put in the Dogmatica cards too. So it's like, you kind of had to pick and choose and you were losing too much other engine pieces not being able to play like those cards. So... It, it just, uh, it was a trade-off we had to take, um, but yeah, otherwise, I guess we can just get into the deck list, and I did fine-tune it again, like, kind of fine-tune it again, just to deal with current format stuff, so, I think it's a little better than, uh, the last list I had, just because, like, I was so, uh, not ready to deal with VFD and stuff, so, yeah, but anyways, let's get in the list, we got three Decatron, two Anunku, two Deviati, uh, two Saitamis, one Atondal, one Sajet, Trulia and Harmadic. Um, there's probably a different ratio of like the little ones I could have played, but I think this was relatively fine. That like it only came up maybe once to try and Harmadic someone, and Petrulia was just like it was fine. I don't know. Um, they they just don't come up that much. They're just around for names. I kind of wish in some instances I had a little bit more names, but I think you have to slim it down as much as possible for consistency's sake. So it is perfectly fine. Um. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else major about this lineup. Uh, and then, oh yeah, I know one of the big changes I think I did, right? Yeah, okay. So one of the big changes I did is I played, uh, <laughs> I completely forgot if I actually changed that or not. I uh, did one Ecclesia and one Fleur because he was playing the Punishment, which Punishment's fine, but especially with Titanoclad and the extra deck, if we're going to be summoning Tierra anyways, we have easy ways to go into the Fleur. So I felt like the Fleur was giving me a really nice addition for the deck, and it actually did come up a few times. Like, sometimes it was annoying with, like, the level modulation needed for Infernoids, but it was actually really easy to play around, and it still was, like, really good for the deck. And, like, it gave an ex another extra layer of, like, protection and just being able to, like, live through, like, later turns and stuff. So I think this card was, like, a really good addition, and, like, two Ecclesia is just not necessary, so I was okay with that. And then, uh... For hand traps, so three ash and three gamma. Uh, I didn't play the drop on the main deck. There's just no room. Um, just for this deck, like gamma is just really impactful. Uh, ash is just good generic. So I just felt like those would be the best choices to go with. 
and you know you can't really fit more than six so that's probably fine uh and then three imagination or three uh vanishment and three imagination foreign cards my bad <laughs> um but yeah that's that's pretty standard um don't think we needed any more than that or i mean any less than that i don't think i think like you need to max out on these cards and then uh three nadir and three pot for the other three ofs um i should mention this deck is meant to go second so but it's an infernite deck obviously uh and then only played two field spell and one terraforming and i guess the one uh one for one uh, so the reason why I didn't just go through field spell and just didn't play mine, I just still don't think mine is that great. I think every deck has some way to inherently out mine. I think there's just like too many things where if you don't absolutely need mine, which I don't think this deck absolutely needs mine. I think like just playing this is fine. And just like the two and one, uh, I think, you know, it made this turn into like an upstart. So I don't know. I think it was relatively fine. Realistically, probably could have just played three, but like deck thinning. And last cards, one feast and one punishment. Uh, because we're going second, we just don't need three in the main. And like, there are actually a lot of instances where like a second punishment could have came up, but I don't know what I would have cut for it. Um, but like logically for consistency's sake, uh, I think this is like the best ratio to go for. So that is the main deck, forty cards. Weird. It's like I always play forty cards. Um, but then for extra deck, two Tierra, uh, three Natus, and one Titanic Clad. So you don't need three Tierra because, like, you don't normally go through three. You usually only go through one, and they can just banish off Prosperity, so it's fine. And then, uh, you need three Natus, like, this comes up. And then the one Titanic Clad, yeah, that was fine. And I guess the other, like, uh, fl uh, Nadir target would be, like, the Omega, but you can also summon the Omega. Omega's really good in this deck. Uh, and then for Lynx, Link uh, Wee Witch, Hida, Lambda, Phoenix, Unicorn, Equimax, and BLS Link. Uh, so this Link Karibo fucking sucked. This is probably one of the worst cards in the deck list, but it was relatively fine. Uh, I, I don't know. It, I think this is, like, the most cuttable card. Um, most of these extra cards I didn't make, like, the main things I made were, like, these. Um... Phoenix, I played once, but, like, the best card in the extra deck was, like, definitely Equimax. Like, Equimax, you know, just the OTK factor of it is so important that you, like, can't go without playing it. But I think this Link Karibo could have been something else and probably just some other utility thing. Because there's just a lot of instances where, like, some other utility might have come up. I don't know what yet, but I think some other utility may have been able to come up. Um, and then for the side deck, uh... Three Lancia, two Nib, and then three uh, Droplet. So I kind of wanted to play Droll, but I like thought about the fact that like Droplet just is overall more versatile. Plus, with like Infernoids, it just complements it really well, and I really wanted this in the deck list somewhere. So it was either I play three Nib, two Droplet, or two Nib, three Droplet, and I just decided on the three Droplet just because uh, overall I thought it was gonna be a little bit more impactful. Um, but it just, and it, I don't know. I think it's fine. It's just, w the one match I lost because I never saw Droplet, it was really unfortunate. I also never saw Nib, but it is what it is. That is Yu-Gi-Oh at the end of the day. Um, and then we got three Cosmic Cyclone, uh, Duster, and Reboot for the back removal. Again, like, just the blowout didn't seem necessary. And, like, playing around Windows, fun. And then, uh... Last cards in the side deck, the last two feast for when you know you're going to go first, or you're just playing against something grindy, so you know, seeing this more is helpful, because, you know, you can, like, survive the grind and whatnot, so, yeah, I think two feasts in the side is, like, the right way to go, so, uh, yeah, that is it for the deck, so, overall, I think the deck was, like, okay, but, like I said, it just suffers from the consistency factor that just is really hard to get around sometimes, um, and I don't know, I don't think there's any way to really fix it that well. I guess maybe, like, the, uh, reasoning engine might help a little bit, but, like, I don't know if it would do enough for the deck still. I think it still just suffers. So, it is what it is.
But anyways, that is going to be it for the video today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys liked, make sure, as always, leave a like and a comment. Make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff, the bell, everything like that. Um, and then also, uh, for those of you who are not aware, I'm actually hosting a free tournament on uh, my Twitch that's going to be in my Discord. It's going to be a remote dual tournament. So if you guys want to join that, I'm going to have a link in my Discord so you guys can come to the Discord and... Uh, Click the link. Just make sure you follow on Twitch first before, and then you can be entered uh, into the tournament. And yes, the tournament is a remote dual tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be prizes for uh, top four, more if we get top eight. Or uh, if we get more players, there'll be top eight even. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you guys go sign up to that and just join the Discord. And make sure you check out the Twitch as well, obviously, as I always say. It's a lot of fun. This is recorded live on stream, obviously. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Twitch is always a lot of fun, and I really enjoy it. So yeah, make sure you guys come join the tournament. I would really appreciate it. And shout out to all the sponsors as usual. Midwest Gaming, TGG Gaming, YGO Daily. Use code MWG5 for 5% off. And then if you go to TGGGamingMN.com and use code Elysium10, you get 10% off. So yeah, uh, that is going to be it for this one. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.